In the South, we love our nicknames, like the Magic City or Hot Lana or the Big Easy. But there's just one nickname that seems to have stuck for the South as a whole, Dixie. So where did that word come from? Steve asked Ask Alabama what's the most likely origin of the word Dixie. And based on how Steve asked, I'm guessing he already knows there isn't an easy answer to this. But Steve, historian's best guess is that Dixie just means $10. So the word Dixie was colloquial slang before anybody ever bothered to write it down, which means there are competing theories for the origins. Some have guessed that it's named after the Mason-Dixon line. The line that people point to is the unofficial border of the American North and South, and they may be right. But the Mason-Dixon line really is a line that defines the borders of Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Maryland, and I'm not sure anybody's thinking of those states when they're thinking Dixie. But the theory most historians back has to do with money. See, before the Civil War, paper money wasn't what you think of when you think of money today. The United States didn't have a nationwide printed currency for the most part. So at the time, it was legal for states and even private banks to print up their own money. In the case of private banks, they would produce banknotes representing assets they had in holding. But rather than people running back to the bank to pull out the assets to make a purchase at a local shop, if people trusted the local bank, the shops might accept the banknote straight up. Heck, the shops may even produce their own stamps or store credit certificates as change that people would then use at currency in other places around town. So, for example, if Phil runs the bank and everybody knows Phil is a solid dude, then rather than carrying coins around, people might just take some Phil's bills to the local butcher. And if they're owed change back, they might take $3 in Butcher Bob bucks. And since the local bar knows that Butcher Bob is good for it, they might take those Butcher Bob bucks and even issue dolly dollars if they have to make change. As you might guess, this quickly turned into a tangled web of funny money and counterfeiting, and some historians refer to this era of America as the most complicated economic system in recorded human history. Joining in the chaos was the Citizens Bank of Louisiana, based in New Orleans. They started issuing very distinctive looking red banknotes for different denominations. Among them was a $10 note with a French word for 10, dicks, written on the back. I don't know how you pronounce that, I don't speak French, but people pronounce it dicks. These were referred to by many as Dixies, in the same way you might refer to a $5 bill as a Fiverr or a Finsky. As they got spread around, folks started referring to New Orleans, and then Louisiana, and then the South as the Land of Dixies, or Dixieland. Now after the Civil War, the U.S. started issuing national currency to help clear up the confusion, and the Dixies disappeared. And that's too bad, because if the practice stuck around till today, I could be selling Sobo Skrilla. So that's the best explanation I've seen for one of Alabama's weirder nicknames. Except this one guy, John Pace, submitted to ask Alabama why was Alabama called the Lizard State. I've never heard it called the Lizard State, but apparently it was at one point because people noticed a bunch of lizards running around the riverbanks. Either way, it never stuck. But there's a quick bonus Ask Alabama for you, John. See, we're all about value here. Anyway, I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Reckon. If you like these videos and like what we do on Reckon, you can help us out by following ReckonByAL.com on Facebook and Twitter. And you can sign up for the weekly newsletter at al.com slash reckon. Thanks for watching.